Hello and Andy here playing Farming Simulator 22 and welcome back to Spring Creek, the 36X map here since last episode. Just been uh, busy doing some farming here, everyone. Uh, we are still working on cultivating fields at 289, 290, 291 here. We got, uh, I don't know, what am I guessing? Probably an hour left? Yeah, look at that. Hour and 10 minutes on that one. And an hour and 11 minutes on that one. Okay, so they're pretty much uh, neck and neck here on this one. Again, we are pulling the uh, Kinsey High Speed Mock Tills here. Uh, so they're getting the job done somewhat quickly. Just, yeah, such a large field. I mean, it just takes a while, right? Uh, then also, yeah, 383 is done. 384 is done here as well, of course. Those are our wheat fields. We got those all sprayed with... Well, herbicide. Uh, so the weeds are all killed. Uh, 387, 388, 385. Those are our oat fields. Those fields are all good as well. And then that just leaves, let's see, once I think we had one other field that was planted too, right? Let me see once here. What do we all have planted here? Let's go check here a minute. 389. Okay, no, for some reason I thought we had 389 planted. We do not. So 389 is not planted. 390, 389 are planted. And then uh, this episode, we're going to start by uh, planting some uh, corn here. And then we got, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we got uh, soybeans to plant here as well. That will probably be next episode. Anyway, let's head over to, uh, not this field though, no. We actually need to head over to uh, fields 389, 390. Those are going to be our corn field here. I don't know why I'm over at uh, this field here. I brought both tractors over here. But uh, again, let's, there we go. Got uh, sorghum planted here on 386, and we finished uh, planting that field here in between uh, episodes as well. I don't know why I was thinking uh, we're over at this field here. We need to be in the far fields here for our corn. Got uh, both uh, New Holland T8s here with our uh, Kinsey, uh, actually not even sure what model number these planters are, but our Kinsey planters here. In case you can't tell, we got a bit of a blue tractor theme going on here at the moment. Uh, I know, it's dreadful, dreadful. Anyway, we're going to throw uh, one planter on each uh, field. I figured that's what we got uh, two uh, planters for. We'll get this job done nice and uh, quickly. And then, yes, yeah, next episode, we'll start on the big field here. And kind of debating if we need to upgrade planters or not, or we'll just maybe stick with the two planters we have now. Kind of think we'll probably just stick with the two planters we have now and see once how it goes, Evan. I mean, high-speed planters, right? We should be able to plant at, what, 10 mile an hour with these? I'm not actually sure. I don't remember exactly how fast these uh, go here again. But if we plant at 10 mile an hour, uh, they are 24 row planters. So we should be able to make uh, fairly uh, quick work of that field here, hopefully. And then uh, I think we'll have a little bit more spraying left to do yet as well. I think 390 is the only field that will need to be sprayed yet here. If we check here, I think there's weeds on it. Uh, currently. I'm sure we're going the right way here, am I not? I don't want to be crashing anything once this map updates. Come on, map. There we go. Yeah, so 390 has weeds on it. I think all the rest of the fields should be good. I mean, I don't think we'll end up with weeds on any of the rest of the fields. So, almost to uh, 389 here. You know what? I think we'll probably just go to 390 with this one. Oh, it depends. Which, uh, which field do I want to plant myself? I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Been a while since I've worked out uh, 390. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll plant that field myself. I figure, well, like I said, we'll throw course play on one field. That one. And I'll do a little uh, work myself. You know, emphasis is on the little bit of work. I mean, you don't want to make it look like I'm doing too much here. Also, let me turn up my track here. Just let it notice it's really quiet there. Much, much quieter than the old uh, case tractor, right? Okay, let's uh, force generation here. Um, one head then that should be enough for this field, right? Yeah, there's nothing around this field here. I know, uh, like, 390, but the 390 has some, uh, like, trees and stuff around it, so you'd probably want to do two uh, headlands for that field. Actually, you know what? Before I forget, two field margin. Let's update that a little bit and just regenerate that course. Get a little bit less missing around the edge here, hopefully. Uh, that way, at least that's my theory anyway, but uh, course play just overlaps the edge of the field there a little bit more. So, you know, for those of you uh, OCD uh, levels here, um, it might, uh, might help you out a little bit, right? Helps our uh, field quality manager not to have quite as many aneurysms. Okay, grab the other planter here as well. All right, back to the other screen so I can click on the tractor. There we go. Yep. I don't know. I'm hoping whenever uh, Farming Simulator comes out with another Farming Simulator. Okay, actually, whenever Giants comes out with another Farming Simulator, technically, I mean, 
Hopefully they maybe uh, will fix up their menu system a little bit. Maybe improve upon that. Uh, it definitely seems like it could use a little help, right, Evan? This seems really rough. This whole, uh, yeah, seems a little clunky. Especially when you have, you got a map, you got a map, got another map. Um, that's actually course play, course play settings. You, even course play, like, too. We got, like, a couple pages of course play settings here. Yeah. And then, of course, we got mods that add screens to this as well, one. And, you know, we got the bank or loan system, I guess, technically. We got this time-saving stock check mod there. Great mod, everyone, by the way. Uh, if you're looking for a couple of good mod recommendations, definitely recommend the time-saving stock check. It's a mouthful to say that one every time, but definitely recommend that one. And then, of course, the uh, loan system there as well. One just drastically improves Giant's uh, loan system here, which is just absolute... Uh, to be fan yet yeah let's face it I mean, you know you can borrow up to three million dollars in the game which not too bad i mean it's at least uh giants seen the errors of their way on that one at least gave us uh three million dollars we can borrow you know at farming right i mean come on now compared to the previous thing it was what two hundred thousand, right and then uh was the last one did they finally go to five hundred thousand? i know it was two hundred thousand. i'm pretty sure there for a while and then i think it's five hundred thousand. now oh, yeah finally three million so at least they let us do that but you can only still borrow that at uh, $5,000 increments. So you got to just sit here, click, click, click. Oh, my goodness. Can I, uh, can I get them for Carpal Tunnel or something like that? You know what? I just realized something. I never forgot, uh, or I forgot to check and make sure I was on corn on this other uh, planter here. It's not complaining. <laughs> so it's on something we can plant. What are we planting here? This might be a whoopsie here. No, good. We are planting corn. Look at that. I just happened to think of that. I mean, I never uh, checked what that planter was set to before I started it. Planting cotton or something like that. Yeah, that uh, we'd have to uh, we'd have to do a little field work in that case then, everyone. Okay, we'll head over to field 391. We'll start uh, planting that field ourselves here. This will be a no-till uh, situation here, especially into the weeds too yet, right? Yeah, this would probably be a bit of an expensive uh, field if we had to uh, spray uh, this field, wouldn't it? And again, speaking of spraying, everyone, we do have the CN spray sprayers here again. Uh, we'll hopefully be uh, putting those to uh, work here. We'll have to wait till uh, the corn actually starts growing and the weeds grow with it. We'll have to spray the weeds at th that time. You know, again, when it comes to sea and spray, when you can't do like any sort of pre-emergence type spraying, unfortunately, it's, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just not an option. So, okay, starting up the planter, lowering down, and we are planting. Oh, but it doesn't leave the row crop texture here in this case, does it? I've noticed that with some of this uh, stuff, Evan. Uh, depending on what kind of soil texture uh, you're planting into, it doesn't always leave the right one. Now, I know there is a row crop texture here for this, Evan. I have seen it before, but uh, alas, we're not actually getting that here this time. And of course, when I say row crop texture, I mean, you look at the field across from us here. Yeah, as you can see that lovely row crop texture there. Speaking of row crop texture, by the way, one, if you'd like to uh, join us in on the R.D. Allen multiplayer farming simulator servers, you're welcome to do so. That information, again, down below in the description there. Uh, again, anyone is welcome to join as long as you can play nicely, follow the rules. And as for the uh, row crop part of it, we are playing on a row crop ready map there. Uh, and the map in this case here is county lines. So we're playing on uh, county lines row crop ready. Now, what exactly does that all mean, Evan? Well, that's a good question. This is my first time playing on a row crop ready map. So I guess we'll have to see once what it's all uh, involving here. The goal, of course, on a row crop ready map, Evan, is just to, as the name implies, be a little bit more realistic when it comes to uh, row crops.
and so far the map seems to be uh, playing halfway decently well on the multiplayer server. I uh, was a little bit uh, concerned about that when we started, I and mean, obviously the uh, row crop ready maps. Some of them tend to be very, very laggy, and I know some of you folks think that's okay, which if that's what you want to put up with, I guess I wouldn't. Uh, in my case, I do not think that's okay. And uh, like I said, fortunately, the uh, county line so far seems to play pretty well. I believe they are probably, from my understanding, using a newer method for the row crop uh, planting, or just the, the row crop in general. From my understanding, this is my understanding, so quote me if I, or, yeah, feel free, free to correct me if I'm wrong on this, but uh, from my understanding, uh, like the original row crop, Evan, they would use individual zones for each row. Uh, sounds like now, if I understand it correctly, they figured out how to keep the, uh, like, so when you're planting, Evan, this goes into the editing of mods and modding in general here, like when it comes to this planner here, so a 24 row planner, but as far as the game is concerned, it is simply just one row that is 20, actually this is not even 20 meters. What is this? Whatever, however wide this is, Evan, 60 feet, but so, you know, it's just one planner that's 60 feet wide. Now, when you do row crop, Evan, it's going to split those out into 24 individual rows, which the game, unfortunately, is just not capable of handling. Evan. So you'd have to have 24 work zones here on this particular type of planner instead of just one. I know this has been uh, tried in some of the previous uh, versions of the game as well, but trying some of the, uh, the row crop ready stuff. And uh, up until this point, I've pretty much, uh, without hesitation, uh, deleted all that crap. Um, yeah, just... The, the amount of lag that you get from it, just, again, in my opinion, was completely unacceptable. But uh, obviously some people uh, disagreed with me on that one and thought it was perfectly acceptable. Which, hey, good for you. If you want to play on a game that's, you know, giving you about 10, 15 frames, go for it. As I've uh, said before, when it comes to this uh, game, Evan, and this is just uh, my opinion, but uh, this game, I think, is perfectly playable down to about 20, 25 frames. Uh, in my opinion, you start getting much lower than that and it starts feeling a little rough. You, you know, you start getting down to 10, 15, and then it's getting really rough in my opinion. So, but yeah, if you're, uh, you know, 20, 25 frames, I mean, this game is still plenty playable. And uh, as I've said before too, you know, I would crank the settings before I'd start worrying about your frame rate. Now, if you're getting down in that uh, 20, 25 range, I mean, then yeah, you probably should lower your settings a little bit, but... You know, as long as you're getting uh, 60 frames in this game, everyone, my recommendation would be crank your quality settings. Make the game look a little bit better, right? This isn't a first-person shooter, so... Now, if you're playing a first-person shooter, yeah, you might want the 90, 120, 100, you know, 60, whatever uh, frames, but... With this game, I would uh, choose looks over uh, frame rate. Hey, look at this. I want to feel I can actually make it all the way around here in a single episode. And we're not even actually done with the episode yet. That probably won't happen next episode, if I had to guess, Evan. Uh, next episode, like I said, we'll plant, uh, start planting the soybeans there on the big section. And yes, I will be uh, surprised if we can make it all the way around that field here next episode. Uh, like I said, most likely... <laughs> I don't know. Place your bets. What do you think? Can we make it halfway around the field next episode? I guess we'll find out. We are planting at 11 mile an hour, so we're moving right along here. We're not exactly going slow. So, yeah, once we uh, start planting this field, I mean, I think this will be... Uh, the widest implement we've had on that field yet. And I don't know if I'd say fast enough, because I'm not sure how fast those Kinsey mock tills are going. I think they're right around this uh, same speed here as well. Yeah, right about that 11 miles an hour here. But we are definitely wider than the mock tills here. 
So planting should go even quicker than the cultivating, I would think, everyone. Except I guess we'll find out, but I would think it would go even quicker. Waiting if I want to get some uh, GPS set up here or not. I think we'll probably go around one more time, get ourselves two headland here. This uh, particular field oven has some trees and stuff around it, so. And then, of course, not to mention the uh, potential we have for falling off the map here over on uh, this side, which is where we uh, put the fence. Which will hopefully uh, prevent that from happening. Keywords being hopefully. I mean, let's face it, if you really wanted to, you could probably drive over that fence with one of these tractors. And uh, obviously, knowing the hired workers, everyone, uh, seems like they would probably want to try that. Anyway, let's head over to the uh, comments section here a moment. I'm going to see what you folks had to say here for last episode. And uh, starting off with the first comment here from Mason Farms. He was saying the John Deere sprayer wanted to take a nap. Uh, he was saying I did some editing to that uh, Case 715. I'll have to send you the picture. Uh, we'll take an eternity to plant that section 60 foot times two at a time. He says you need two DB 120s and two 9640RXs. Ooh, 9640RXs, huh? I could... uh. I could uh, support this decision. Uh, Norton was saying something about those uh, John Deere sprayers. They like to tip over. Yes, they do. I have noticed that as well. They are very, very tippy. I don't know why that is, but... Uh, maybe the mod author needs to go back to the uh, drawing board on that one just a little bit when it comes to the physics and stuff. Uh, Christopher was saying, good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Joseph was saying, getting the giant field I made planted with four large planters, and it will still take five hours. I have a screenshot of the field half planted. Nice one there, Joseph. Out of curiosity, do you know how large your large field is? Are we talking like a square mile, two square miles, four square miles? Our uh, current large field here, everyone, is uh, approximately one square mile. Which, uh, at least if you ask me, but it's no slouch. That is a, that is a good size field there. One, one square mile field, approximately 640 acres. It's probably closer to more like, what, 620, 640, something like that. By the time you factor in, you know, the road allowance and all that good stuff. Any ditches along the road, that type of thing, right? So, yeah, I'm sure we're not anywhere close to actually being, you know, 640 acres total. Uh, 640 acres, uh, from what I remember, is uh, one square mile, by the way. And that's how many acres are in a square mile. 640 acres. At least I think I got my numbers right on that one. It's been a couple years, you know, since I've uh, I've uh, used those numbers, that's for sure. Uh, why I was saying, I don't know why my sky is black and my ground is see-through. Ooh, that's always a fun one there when that happens there, Wyatt. Uh, a couple of suggestions here for you on that one. Uh, first off, make sure your graphics card drivers are up to date. Very important. And then I would also delete your shader cache. And if not sure how to do that, I do have uh, some videos on my channel or, or some, I'm sure other people have videos as well. But yeah, just uh, check a video on YouTube if you're not sure how to delete your shader cache file. Fairly straightforward and simple. Oh, come on. There we go. Auto save. Yep. Yeah, auto saves are a little brutal on this map.
Well, we'll finish this pass. I don't think we can uh, probably get some uh, GPS going here then at this point. Wow, our second headland pass finished that one. All within uh, about the first 20 minutes of this episode. Pretty impressive. Big planters and small-ish fields. At least for the size of the map, anyway, I would call this a small field. Okay, GPS, you're up. We're running at zero degrees. Let's get an auto width on that. We should be good. Make sure we're over this way a fair amount here. Hopefully, I don't have to slide the line over by the time we get down to the end here. Uh, Dreedry was saying that mods can really stuff up a save game. Uh, but uh, sometimes my farming simulator 22 will ask me to put the key in. Uh, make sure you don't do that. Just restart your computer next time, and Farming Simulator 22 should start up fine. Uh, if you put your key in, it will reset your game, and you'll lose your save games back up. Hmm. Well, good to know. I'm assuming that's probably if you have the CD version. Well, see, it's probably DVD version, actually, right? DVD version of the game or whatever. There's no way this game's uh, fitting on a, on a CD. Oh, who can still remember that yet, yeah, one? Talking about that there reminds me, like, back in the day when, when your games actually came in on a CD. And then, of course, Evan, then they started coming in on DVDs, right? Do we have to go all the way over here to turn around or gonna work out? I don't have to go quite to the end, but pretty much. But yeah, going back to our CD DVD conversation there too, I've one like CDs, DVDs. Now you can't even get your game on a DVD anymore, pretty much, right? Now you pretty much have to download your game nowadays, Evan. You know, the days of having uh uh was it 4.7 gigabytes on a DVD from what I remember, Evan, so you know, by the time that's all unpacked and stuff. I don't know how much uh, the game could actually add up to. Ooh, we ran out of something. We ran out of seed. Okay. Well, how do you like that? That kind of sucks. I think we're going to have to run back to the farm, everyone. But yeah, now you get some of the larger games, Evan. I mean, some of these games are getting close to 100 gigabytes for just a game nowadays. Now, obviously, if you only have, like, you know, a little 512 gigabyte hard drive, you get too many of those 100 gig games, I mean, they're going to fill up very quickly. Oh, let's see what's the quickest way back to the farm here. Probably just head back to the road here over here. That'd probably be the best, I think. So we got some sort of... Oh, that's a cell point over there. That's right. That is... Uh, what is the name of this one? HH East Cell Point. Well, we'll go back to the farm. Level. We'll uh, get ourselves loaded back up on seed. Might as well fill up on fertilizer here, too, while we're at it. At least uh, see if we can uh, get this uh, filled up on fertilizer, right? Wait a minute. This did. You know what? Before I even go any further, I have one. That's right. We could not actually get these to fill up, could we? Yes. I don't think these actually filled. There is no sense in me going back to the farm. I have one that because that would be a wasted trip. Yeah, because I cannot get the covers to open. Now, mind you, that is probably a fault of this tractor. It has uh, doors that open and close, and then, I don't know, if you do the other one, that doesn't actually do anything, I guess, does it? But, yeah, more than likely, the doors open and close, and I mean, it's probably what's inter interfering with the planter for me being able to open the covers, and if I can't open the covers, 
Well, you folks can probably guess. If you can't open the covers, you can't fill the planner. So therefore, I hate having to do this, but still, seeds. Look, a fertilizer check. Okay. Good, we're full. Back to seeding. Ridiculous. I could uh, try with a different tractor, I suppose, Evan, but... The fact that uh, some mod author thought it was okay to uh, make the doors open and then put it on the same key as your covers. It's like, no, that is not okay. Oh, I'll get the planner folded back out here. And there we go, back in plant and business, that one. After we uh went back to the farm to refill, right? In all fairness, Evan, I was actually going to go back to the farm to refill, but luckily I happened to think of that just in time. I was like, wait a minute. I don't think I could open the covers on this one, can I? And for some reason, too, Evan, if I remember correctly, like, obviously, you don't have to open the covers, Evan, for refilling your liquid fertilizer. But I don't think even the liquid fertilizer would refill on this, right? Or could I get... Maybe I did. Maybe the liquid fertilizer did work. Pretty sure nothing worked from what I remember. Correct, that one. Oh, well. Anyway, when looking at the time, it looks like it is about time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, if you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. Also, be sure to join us here for next episode. We're going to start planting the large section here. Uh, again, that is a one square mile field, and we are going to be planting that in soybeans. So, like I said, stay tuned for next episode on that one. That one. Hopefully, get the uh, corn all finished up here at this episode. So, again, I'm going to thanks for watching, and until next time.